our first tender port and our very first time tendering in a lifeboat. Mm-hmm. I was watching them drop them down in the water this morning. And, uh, but yeah, we are on the other side of the Hawaiian Island in Kona. Yep, so yesterday we were in Hilo and today we're in Kona on the opposite side of the big island of Hawaii. This is the only tender port of the cruise. And uh, it's we, a short tender. Yeah, it's a very just short right tender. there. But we decided we were gonna. We slept in this morning, had a leisurely breakfast. So it is 10:30, and we're just getting off the ship. But we've got all day, and we're just going like right there. Just gonna hang out at port, shop a little bit, hang out at the beach, take it very slow because we've been go go going. Right. Um, and maybe do a little bit of snorkeling around the beach area. Real low key. Very chill day. Love it. Kona coffee. My son pointed this sign out. It says, attention, all unattended children will be given an espresso shot and a free mongoose. So, watch your kids. They're going to be all jacked. How is the coffee? Um, pretty good. I liked the cold brew um, without any cream and sugar. It was still really good, so. Ethan over cream his. Yeah, I drank cream with coffee. That's your fault. Yeah, I know. Man, I don't know what kind of tree that is, but that is absolutely a beautiful tree. I'll tell you what, I'm loving the vibes here in Kona, right at port. This is just, this is a great little port right here. Sun's not out, but that's kind of a good thing because we're not hot, but you know, I like the sun with the beach, kind of goes together. But I'm liking Kona so far. A lot of shops, no real big, beautiful beaches right here at Port. There's some small ones right here in front of the, uh, there's one in front of the Marriott here. It's kind of small, a little bit nice. I think we're gonna go to that a little bit later. Other than that, a lot of food options, a lot of shopping options for sure. It's still really pretty. Okay, so we had a nice little pleasant surprise. We ran into our gang and we've decided to go to Kona Brewing to have a beer. Because you gotta, you gotta go to Kona Brewing if you're in Kona, right? And uh, we're gonna stop off there. I think just have a beer all together. See what that's all about. That was on my hit list anyway. Okay, so the walk to Kona was a little more challenging than we thought. Look, man, if you want to go to Kona Brewing, you better be ready to scale walls and cliffs. Yeah, we took a little wrong turn. We saw it up in the distance, and it looked like you had to go up the hill and over, but that was the wrong choice. So luckily, there was a little path down the hill here, and we're all taking it. Now back up the mountain. Man, Kona makes you work for it. Man, yeah. At least this mountain's a little easier. <laughs> At least this one's made to walk up. <laughs> Yeah, we have a nice path. They gave us a nice path here. Honey, you look <laughs> concerned. Well, uh, that was not what I was expecting to do today. <laughs> and, uh, but I think we've made it. You've earned. I've earned a drink? You've earned a drink. Okay. <laughs> we made it, AJ. We made it. Way to go, bud. We did it. We did it! You ready for a beer, Nick? Yes. You earned it. <laughs> okay, so I'm excited. I'm here at Kona Brewing in Kona, and I've got my flight because I got to get a flight. I want to try, you know, a few of the beers. All right, so I got my little cheat sheet here that's covered in beer. Mm, <laughs> smells good. All right, the very first one I have is the Longboard. I know what this tastes like because I get this at home all the time. It's a lager, and it's one of my favorites. Mm, yeah, it tastes like home. All right, second, Castaway. This one's Castaway. I forget the percentage of alcohol in these, but who really cares? Ooh, that one's really hoppy. Very hoppy. That makes me hoppy. Hoppy, hoppy? Yeah. And then I have the Fire Rock here. Ooh, that's really good. I like that one better than the Castaway. 
Um, and then last but not least is the barley wine. Uh, this bad boy here, 10.9% alcohol. A couple of these will get you, get you there. A couple of them. This oh one yeah. You, that little one will get you wasted. That one's got, it's, that's the barley wine. And it's really stout. And it's got a whiny taste. So, but all very, very good. Very, very good. Let me drink it. Okay, so I just look over and Nick's already knocked a couple of back. So, how are they? Good, so I had the Tiny Way, which is gone, so it's their latest beer. Mm -hmm. and then I got the Mai Tai, so it tastes like it's like sweeter Mai Tai flavored in beer, which is really good. Yeah. A blonde stout, so it tastes like coffee, but it's blonde, and so it's, it's really light and refreshing. All right. Hibiscus haze, so it's kind of flor a floral note, but it's sweet. I like the color on that one. And Jason also had the barley wine, so that's the, the strong 10.9% alcohol one. Yep. And then finally I got the tasty little treat, which I haven't tasted, so let's taste it and see what it's like. And so it's kind of more like a barley flavor, like a pale ale type. So it's good, they're all good. Look who joined us. Scott and Val in the house. Yep. Scott got him a beer flight. That's the Mai Tai. That's the Mai Tai? Yeah, it's really good. So, the Mai Tai, the hibiscus haze, tasty little treat, and the wine little wheat. Yeah, Mai Tai is nice. I got the light one. Light? Light Lightweight. Right on. <laughs> oh, cast away. Cast away. I like the Mai Tai. That's appropriate. What'd you get, we got the lemongrass luau. All right, cheers. Sarah, what are you drinking? I am drinking the hula hefeweizen. La hula what? Hula hefeweizen. All right. It's good. It's tasty. It's not bitter. Cheers. Cheers. Come on, Eileen. That's really good pizza. Then we get a pizza. Cheers. Pizza right. cheers. 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 <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Chicken wings. Mm -hmm. Different. Extra zing in those. They're, I will say this. I love the heat factor. They're good. That's got a good heat factor. So the heat is good. The flavor. I, I like it. I, I prefer the traditional buffalo. Uh -huh. Um, and it's a really thin, well, not not really thin, but they got. I think they said they had. What they have in that sauce? The. Uh, it's got beer in it. Yeah, it's got it's got like an ale, mm -hmm. um, beer flavor to it. It's good. It's it's interesting. It's not something I would want all the time on my wings, but it's it's neat nonetheless. Once here, every now and then, and the wings are cooked good. The more I ate them, the more I liked that sauce. So I got the tongue nice and coated with that delicious flavor. And let me tell you what, the baby's got some heat on them. I'm starting to sweat a little bit. So that's, that's a good hot wing. <sighs> I gotta get to wash it down with a Kona beer in Kona with all my friends. Pretty awesome way yep. to start the day. In Pretty Kona, much. Kona that's what I'm saying. Yeah, in Kona at the Kona Brewery. I mean, that's a, that's a good, uh, good situation to be in. Cheers. <laughs> Boom, all ice. done, time to go. So I asked for a coaster to take with us that hadn't gotten drinks all over it. Because we like to collect these. This is a fun little keepsake for when you travel. And this is from Kona Brewing Company. I love those things. I got a bag of goodies, y'all. I, mean, I got two cups. They're, they're hand washed. You got to hand wash them. But look, you can squeeze them. I got one for my buddy, one for me. I got me a t-shirt and a sticker for the van. Oh my. Let's see that t-shirt. You want to see the t-shirt? Right. Yeah. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Nice. Check. All right, that was fun. Good little stop off here at Kona Brewing Company. Definitely, if you're a beer drinker especially, stop by Kona Brewing and uh, have you some wings and a beer or some pizza. It was a fun little stop. And just right down the stairs from Kona Brewing Company is Hale Coco. Hale Coco. Yeah, I was corrected. That's probably right, Sarah. Oh my gosh, y'all. It smells so dang good. I wish you could smell that. Honey wine berry. Mmm, interesting. You taste, you taste any of those? 
That is a very strong, dark chocolate. Fresh. But yeah, and then the, I don't taste any honey. I definitely taste the berries. It's very like, you know what I mean? Pungent. Very pungent. Rose cardamom pistachio. Mm, I like that one better. Yeah, that mm. little, little hint of rose kind mm -hmm. of permeates in your it mouth. It is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's tasty. That's yummy. I am resisting not buying any chocolate. Are you like medium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not buying any chocolate. I think we are all going back to the ship. Yeah. That's going to be a wrap. That's a day for us unless we make some stops along the way. Well, there's at least one stop because uh -oh. the Shave Ice place is oh. right by. Of course. Yeah. And so it's just one of those things you just got to do. You got to make room for the Shave Ice. Yes. We had some really great Shave Ice in a while. Yes, we as did. As you saw. But it's but been a few days. So, it's been you know, a few days. we, we need We're, we're going through withdrawals. <laughs> shave Ice withdrawals. I'm enamored with that building, how thin and narrow it is. That's the narrowest building I've ever seen in my life. That's crazy. Okay, we are on the prowl for shave ice. The first place we went to is closed. Lisa just had to see that for herself. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay, anyway, we're going to the second place. Hopefully, it's not closed. Why would they close a shave ice know. place right and here at Port? there's people working in there. It makes no sense. Maybe they ran out of ice. That's a possibility. I guess that can happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we're going to Kona Wave Cafe. Let's try this shave ice. Hopefully they've got it. Okay, so they're getting shave ice, but I've just been introduced to the acai bowl, which is, at first glance, looks like a fruit bowl, but it's a smoothie. So they put the smoothie in the in the cup and then they top it with all this delicious fruit of your choice and so look here you have all these different flavors i'm going with the kona wave bowl the granola strawberries bananas blueberries coconut flakes honey god what's not to like about that what did you get i got a small shave ice with ice cream condensed milk and the flavors are coconut pineapple and strawberry Ooh. oh my god Gosh, is that yours? Yeah. Holy cow. So I got a lychee dream, so it's mango, pineapple, condensed milk, ice cream, and then it's got these bobo berries. So if you have boba tea, that's what's in these. Okay. So let's try it. It's good. It's sweet. It's quite refreshing on this hot day. Oh no. It's huge though. Can you eat all that? Who cares? Yeah. Coconut. That's regular size. Vanilla ice cream. Strawberries, condensed milk, snow capped, always. Strawberry, pineapple, coconut, ice cream in the middle, condensed milk on top. I kind of like that it's not swimming in syrup. Right. You know what I mean? You can get to that at the Ooh, end. Ooh, and that is really good syrup. Look, you can see my ice cream in the bottom there. A little bit of ice cream. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is it yummy? It's so good. It's so refreshing. It's really hot today. It's overcast, which makes it a little extra humid. So this is like hitting the spot. Oh yeah. Hands down. Awesome. Yeah. This is way better than the one we had at, what was that called? The Mori, the... Matsumoto's. Matsumoto's. This is way better than Matsumoto's. Really? Mm-hmm. The ice is like shaped perfectly. It's like a nice thin... Oh, there's your icy... Your acai oh. bowl is ready. Okay. Well, acai... That's what I got, you guys. The Kona Wave Bowl. Oh, it's I so I lost cool. a blueberry. Jeez. That's okay. All right. Oh, my God. Give me that. Lots of granola. Delicious. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. Before it bounces. There's so much is falling out. But anyway, there's like some... It's just like a smoothie. Um, yeah, ice cream sort of thing. It's purple. And it's got granola, coconut, pineapple, I mean, not pineapple, but bananas, blueberries, and strawberries. Oh, my gosh. Mm. It looks good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like, nice and refreshing. Mm -hmm. It looks fabulous. That is delicious. See you later. <laughs> All right, time to get back on the ship. It's been a good day here in Kona. A nice, nice chill, relaxed, nice and slow, but fun.
Well, that is a wrap for the big island of Hawaii. One day in Hilo, one day in Kona. Great days both. We didn't do what we said we were going to do today, which was go snorkeling. We got sidetracked by Kona Brewing Company. Oh, yeah. huh, honey. Yep. Well, we ran into a bunch of our, our friends, and that looked like a much cooler thing to do. Yep. Hang out with them and run over to... Uh, Kona Brewing and getting lost on the way. That was fantastic. Oh my but God. <laughs> it ended up being a great day. So it, it, it worked out good. We had a blast. And um, we're back on the ship now. And we're going to go jump in the pool and cool off. Yes, this has been the hottest port. So it's been overcast. So you think, oh, well, it's overcast outside. Yeah. It's, it's going to be cooler. No, it's been so humid that it's been like ridiculously hot and we're like dripping with sweat. So we're going to go cool off in the pool, take a break, just chill out. Um, we have our date night tonight for our anniversary that we were supposed to do last night, but we just weren't feeling it last night. So. Our silver anniversary. 25, 25 years. years Bye. Two, five, love you. So we're going to go dinner at Libby Bistro or Jefferson's Bistro tonight. And uh, probably will not bring the camera on that one. It's going to be just night. for us. Date night. But um, that's going to be a wrap for this. And that's it. If you are new to our channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can follow along with all of our adventures. We still have a lot more to come in Hawaii. And... Um, See you next time. Bye. How do you say the mahalo? Mahalo. That means thank you in Hawaiian. Mahalo, brah. <laughs> Did you say brah? Mahalo, brah. Mahalo, brah.